Hello, my name is Michael Pickett, and you too can learn how to paint in acrylic. Welcome to my show. Hello, we're here at my studio and we're finishing up the drawing of the Sanderling. Putting some fine details into it. Now we'll take our burnt sienna and a lot of water and we'll cover that whole canvas. And by covering the canvas, you're washing away any of the pencil residue or it'll discolor the paint. And now we'll take our sock and we'll wipe away the paint. Now the pencil shows through. Okay, we'll start out with our black. And we'll add yellow to the black. And a black and yellow makes green.
And we'll add a little bit of white. And we'll mix it in with the yellow and the black. And it will put it across the top. We'll lighten up the top. And we'll fill it in. A little more yellow, black and white. And we'll just mix it in. We'll fill in that whole background. Make sure it's all blended in. And the legs that we've drawn in, it's okay to go ahead and cover them as long as you can see through the paint to see where your legs are. Because you're establishing a background behind the legs. Now you add a little bit of blue in with your black. Blend it into the dark folds of the wave. And then add more blue. And then we'll just fill it in and blend. Add some black on the bottom. Add some white, create a white highlight, white and blue mixed together, but mostly white. We'll just kind of fill it in. Go back and forth with your white, leaving kind of white dots. It's just a basic mixture, white dots and lines and blending. There we go. We add a little bit more lighter white for reflected light onto the water. We keep blending, looking at our photograph to see where the lights are and where the darks are. And we just blend it in. Fill in towards the bottom. Add some black in with our white with a touch of blue, but mostly white, creating a really nice gray color. Now you have to remember your blue is your cool color, 
and your yellow is your warm color. Notice that the top of the wave is warm, towards the bottom is cool. Now, with our zero brush, we'll do some detail. We'll take some black and we'll fill in the Sander Lane pie. And now we'll fill in around the eye and around the face. And we'll add our dot to the eye. There we go. Now we'll work on the body. We'll just do short lines up and down, kind of detail the feathers. Then we'll work around the head. Kind of fluff them up there a little bit. We we'll take a look at our photograph and to see where the white will blend in with the dark. Okay, about halfway through. Now we'll add our blue and white together and then we'll just mix it up under the body. Now we'll add a little bit of black and we'll blend in with the blue and white. Now just mix it in, creating a shadow. A little bit of light to reflect more light. And we'll do more blending. We'll blend that in and it gives it more of a round look. And we'll add some white on the bottom. And that's reflected light from the water that he's standing on. Now we'll work on his beak. We'll outline it with our black paint. 